Hello, how you guys doing? This is another thing of importance in reverence to Hollywood, in reverence to when uh, Diane Armadillo fell down outside my apartment door on the carpet. There was no alcohol in my apartment. There was a birthday party of hers and a bunch of her friends. I didn't even know most of these people. But my apartment was a real small apartment. But there was no alcohol or anything. And I don't do drugs either. So in reverence to anybody trying to question me, everybody had gotten drunk or they drank at the bars. And we stopped by my apartment. There was no alcohol at my apartment. Nobody drank nothing at my apartment. When she fell down outside of the apartment door, when I told everybody to leave because the cops said the, loud, the music was too loud, when she fell down, she didn't have no drinking. There was no drinking at my apartment. Everybody had been drunk or drank at the bars. So in reference to people trying to murder me because she, her father or her friends was trying to steal the studios, or they were trying to steal my mother and father's land in Beverly Hills, or she or these other people was tied in with the murder and the people that murdered my mother back in 93. And I'd been injured at the house, too. I'd gotten shot that night, too, in reference to the assailants that trespassed into Beverly Hills. And, you know, Beverly Hills is a private neighborhood. It's illegal for people to be entering people's properties with weapons or guns. So in reverence to these people that tried to frame me, now I don't know if she was holding on to a million dollars from Duke Farms or not. I don't know if somebody handed her money, uh, checking a million dollars that she was supposed to give to me. She never gave me the money. None of the people that was holding on to any money in Hollywood, none of them gave me any of the monies. That was, people that was holding on to monies from my mother. Because my mother knew that these people would try to kidnap me. This is, you know, they knew that these people would try to block me from my monies. And their names are on the hate club list. Which is an international list of people that would try to block me from my mother and father's estates. It's an international list of criminals and violators that had violated my mother and father. And these people had violated me or they violated property and these people tried to hijack properties back in the 60s and 70s and other years, too. But just for the record, this is going to be a counter lawsuit against these people, too. In reference to them trying to blame me. In reference to Diane Armadillo falling on the carpet outside my apartment door. She didn't fall down no flight of stairs. She didn't fall on no concrete. It was like a baby falling on their butt. Or a baby falling on their knees on carpet. Or anybody just going down on their knees if they fell down. But for the fact of information, she had been drunk before we ever arrived at my apartment. Where there was like a group of people. So this is very important that you know this. She did not get drunk at my apartment. Her falling down was her own activities or it was a stunt she was trying to pull with either Frank or some of these other people. And there was reports of other females trying to run me out of my apartment. Like girls that I had met, girls that I was friends with, they kept saying, oh, why don't you move out of your apartment and let me live here, is what some of these girls were saying before. And I was like, no, that doesn't make no sense. You got to go get your own apartment. You know, there were some girls that said that, said things like that. Girls that I had known, girls that I had met, and I guess they may have been working for Frank or they were working for some other people, whoever they were, I'm not sure, whoever they were working for. But in reference to Diane Armadillo falling down outside my apartment door, she didn't fall down a flight of stairs, she didn't fall on the concrete, she didn't take a hard fall, it was right there, she fell on her fucking own. And... Somebody was trying to talk about drugs, and I was like, oh, no, everybody's got to leave. Somebody was trying to say something about drugs. I don't do no drugs. I don't get involved in it. But in reference to the people that was at my apartment, it's a small apartment, you know. But the thing of it is, nobody drank anything at my apartment. Everybody had been drunk prior, or people had been drinking prior to being at my apartment. So in reference to her falling down outside my apartment door, when everybody was told to leave, 
She didn't have no substances that came from my apartment. So this is on the record for countersuit and lawsuits and prison time for people. So in reference to Diane Armadillo and her father trying to murder me because he was trying to steal land in, Can in Canada. Because my mother and father owned, what, 100 miles of farmland in uh, Canada plus? And uh, she was from Canada is what she said. But uh, in reference to her or her people, it's like if you were if you were uh, bending down or, I mean, she fell on her own. I didn't knock her down. I didn't trip her. I didn't do nothing to her. She fell down outside the apartment on her goddamn own. And nobody had drank anything at my apartment. Everybody was drunk prior to arriving at my apartment or they had been drinking prior to being at my apartment. Because we were out at the clubs. It was her birthday or something. And then we came back to my apartment because everybody was stopping there for a little while. And then everybody was leaving. You know, it's just a small apartment, so it's not a party place or anything like that. You understand that? So in reference to the countersuit and dirty government and dirty law enforcement trying to blame me, she had been drunk prior to being at my apartment, or she had been drinking prior to being at my apartment, and so had everybody else that had been partying. Nobody drank anything at my apartment. Nobody had any substances from my apartment. I don't do no drugs, and there was no alcohol in my apartment. So in reference to her attorneys, her attorneys can get charged for attempts of murder and for trying to steal trillions of dollars of my companies and businesses. And they tried to steal national landmarks, like the Hollywood sign that's on the mountain. They tried to steal the studios. They tried to steal restaurants. They tried to steal gas stations. It was a setup the whole freaking time, and people know that. And there has to be more court cases against these people. And they already lost in court. But yet they were secretly trying to murder me to cover up what they were trying to do when they were trying to steal. And in reference to a lot of my friends, Duke Farms or Walt Disney World or some of the other celebrities and entertainers have always met with people and told people who I am. And the Royal Protocol is a documentation of my identity, and I have royal diplomatic immunity. Not just diplomatic immunity, royal diplomatic immunity, which I was born with. My parents were super rich when I was born. My parents was two of the richest people in the whole world. So you knew, and everybody else knows, that these people tried to target me and some of these people are the ones that murdered my parents. These are the people trying to steal my mansions in Beverly Hills. These people are fabricating lies trying to steal from me. Remember, they did not drink nothing at my apartment. They did not get any alcohol from my apartment. These people had been drinking at bars. And she had been drinking at bars. So in reference to the activity of these people trying to blame me, there has to be more court cases and more evidence presented against these people that have been trying to hurt me, these people that damaged my teeth, the people that damaged my face. They must get arrested and put on trial for legal execution or life in prison because they tried to murder me. And I didn't do nothing to none of these fucking freaks, none of these sickos. So anybody trying to frame me, you can get prosecuted for attempts of murder extortion, fraud, theft, and all kinds of other things. And there needs to be immediate court cases against all these people that have conspired against me. Roll protocols in the media. You had no legal right abusing me or touching me or damaging anything on my anatomy at any time ever. You had no right blocking me from my mother and father's mansions. You had no right kidnapping me and holding me hostage in Indiana. And there has to be more court cases against every person conspiring against me.